Hello Collective, I'm here to give you insight for the next three days. So this is going to be like a forecast, a three-day forecast. So from the 14th through the 16th of August. Let's go ahead and clear space. Just use my bell, clear the energy. All right, let's take a look at the potential main energies from the 14th to the 16th. Feeling themselves, okay. Somebody is feeling themselves, okay. I'm hearing, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling myself, I'm feeling, feeling myself, okay. I was hearing, uh, give yourself a pat on the back. Um, I was hearing a round of applause. I was also hearing like recognition. Fire sign, so you could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or dealing with the fire sign, or this fire sign is feeling themselves. Mm hmm attention seeker so somebody is attention seeking trying to get someone's attention it could be because someone is feeling very confident or feeling themselves so this person whoever this is is um trying to get someone's attention i was hearing notice me all right game boy okay so <laughs> someone could be getting played like a game boy or this is somebody who is uh who plays games, okay? So somebody who's playing games. I was getting a vision of somebody really fixated on a game or something. Supernova, okay, supernova. So supernova, you know, it's pretty much an exploding star or star, um, I was saying combustion or a star being destroyed or collapsing after its lifespan. So I feel like for some of you, you could feel like the super, supernova, okay? I feel like you could be shedding old, old skin. I was also hearing rebirth. So I was hearing you're no longer yourself anymore. You're totally different. Need help. So there's someone who needs help or somebody desiring help. Someone may need help, like literally like professional help. You're a star. How can you not shine? Yeah. Okay. No wonder. Okay. Feeling, feeling themselves. So it could be that somebody recognized that they are a star and they're always shining. Okay. They're a star. How can they not shine? This is what this person's meant to do. I feel like for some of you collective, you feel like you're the star. Or you're recognizing that you are the star. You're meant to shine. I was hearing you have so much potential. Last card highs and lows so somebody's experiencing highs and lows okay so it's like a waxing and waning energy it makes a lot of sense because with this mercury retrograde some people could be feeling these highs and lows ups and downs one minute you feel like you're on top of the world the next minute it's like oh just feeling very low feeling i was hearing feeling unaccomplished feeling out of sorts okay let's just go ahead All right, let's take a look and see what we got going on. The collective for the next three days. August 14th to the 16th. August 14th to the 16th. What's going on? What's going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? What's going on with the collective? confusion yeah and uh, i was getting the vision of the high and low card i pulled earlier rest okay earth sign taurus virgo capricorn patient practical grounded rational some of you are um i was hearing very sensitive you could be experiencing a lot of confusion i was feeling i was hearing out of sorts also it's the energy of feeling disconnected it says scattered thoughts doubt and decision so somebody could be experiencing this but somebody is needing to rest there's a lot going on i was hearing that some somebody could be overly um stimulated somebody could also uh, i was hearing somebody doesn't know where they stand okay um I was also hearing somebody being pulled from different directions. So you're needing to take some time out to recharge, to reflect, or you are definitely doing this. I was also hearing that some of you are doing grounding techniques. Uh, some of you could be confused when it comes to like real life shit. Okay. Practical things. Um, the material world. Okay. There's some confusion here. All right. 
Um, there is also an energy of somebody taking time out for themselves. Uh, strong energy of somebody spending time in nature, disconnecting. This could also be um, encouragement for you to do so, to, to disconnect, to spend time in nature, to relax. Just uh, definitely a need to ground. So grounding techniques. Summer, I love that. Persevere, I love that. And we got trust. Okay, so collective, you're encouraged to continue to move forward. I was also you're hearing that you're encouraged to have a sunny disposition. Maybe you're around people who are very negative or people who are just low vibrational. And it's a call for you to raise your vibration. I do see that with the summer card. Um, this is just joy, happiness. This is, I was hearing bright, um, um, feeling bright. I don't know why I was hearing fanfare. I know fanfare is like a song, right? But fanfare, I don't know what the hell fanfare is. Uh, I'll have to look at the definition. I don't know. I was hearing fanfare. But um, anyways, um, yeah, you're encouraged to persevere, to overcome. With the summer card, it says optimism, positivity, growth, and joy. So you could be growing out of a situation that was no longer serving you. Maybe you were in that state of confusion, not knowing what to do. I was hearing not knowing yourself. Like... I was hearing for some, like, you didn't really know who you were or the powers or the powers that you possessed here. So this is awareness. You know, you're seeing your true potential. You're also persevering. You're overcoming. Uh, Persevere says driven, motivational, overcome. The summer says optimism, positivity, growth, and joy. So I feel like having it's important for you to have the right attitude as you move forward. I feel like some of you are trying to overcome some obstacles. These obstacles could be something within you. It could be outside of you. It's something that you're trying to pursue and, and trying to overcome. Okay, I was hearing a challenge at hand. You're also encouraged to uh, to trust the process. I feel like this hand here, and this looks like a child's hand. I feel like the big hand represents the universe. I feel like the universe, God, your angels, what have you, your ancestors are trying to guide you. They're trying to help you move forward. Um, I was hearing look on the bright side. So trust, confidence, devotion, faith. Okay, so maybe having faith in yourself, maybe being devoted to your path, being devoted to, um, I don't know, maybe yourself or someone here, okay. Um, I was hearing that somebody could bring you happiness as well. There could be someone that's bringing you happiness and someone who may want you to trust them. On the bottom of the deck, we have air sign. could be an air sign. You could have air in your chart, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It says intellect, communication, emotional detachment, freedom. So I was hearing that some of you are needing to put your emotions to the side um, the next three days, okay? Just try to think logically, okay? I was hearing that some of you could uh, be very sensitive as well. So just be really mindful of that. Oh, great. Oh. What the heck? Okay. Sorry about that. Okay, what's going on with the tarot for the next few days? The collective is going on with the collective the next few days. Oh, next few days. Next few days. I just saw the Queen of Swords. You could be done with the Queen of Swords. Leave a Gemini card so you can have this in your chart. What's going on for the next few days? The collective. Okay. The sun. Leo energy, heavily on your chart. What's going on with the collective the next few days? August 14th to the 16th. August 14th to the 16th. August 14th to the 16th. I was hearing, don't worry, be happy. I also got a vision of somebody spinning the wheel, like wheel of fortune. Okay, somebody could be pay playing the lottery or I don't know, maybe they're going on a real wheel of fortune. <laughs> okay. All right, we got the Five of Pentacles, a lot of material troubles. Somebody could be feeling left out in the cold, uh, feeling sad. This is uh, giving me the energy of the confusion. So it could be that maybe um, financially there's something going on, okay? Maybe there's some confusion surrounding your finances or there's some trouble um, regarding your finances. If it's not your finances, it could be maybe, I was hearing like a health scare. So there's something going on with your health. Some of you are needing to be very mindful with your health. I was hearing making the right decisions. I don't know. I was seeing somebody eating oats or oatmeal or something. What is going on with that? Okay. 
Five of Cups again. Oh, the, oh, the Five is coming out again. Excuse me. So somebody is really going through it with this Five of Cups. It's the Lord of Unfulfilled Pleasure. So somebody's not happy with where they're at. Not happy with their job. Maybe not happy with their relationship. Not happy with their situation. But I do see um, someone is overcoming this. Okay. They're really fighting to keep their head above water. Um, they're really fighting to just, I was hearing, stay afloat. They're trying to keep their mind clear. I really feel like somebody is really drowning in their emotions. Okay, you could be done with the Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Air Sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or have this in your chart. Um, but somebody is, um, despite their situation, despite what they're going through, they're moving forward, they're overcoming. I was hearing I have to do what's best for me. Somebody is doing what's best for them. All right, we got the Page of Wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Energies, Nine of Pentacles. And the Eight of Pentacles. Somebody is, um, I was hearing, reestablishing themselves. They're having a, a spark of energy. They're, they're having drive again. So for some of you, if you are going through this Five of Pentacles energy, Five of Cups, you are going to be able to overcome it. It's going to be really important for you to be mindful uh, of your thoughts, the energy or the just the thought forms that you have. Okay. It's going to take a lot of your effort, but I do see a renewal here with the Page of Wands. This, this is just having passion. I was hearing taking the initiative. Uh, some of you are taking the initiative when it comes to your business or when it comes to being an entrepreneur. I was hearing uh, going at it alone. So some of you are going at it alone, whatever that means. Maybe what it, it could be in regards to a relationship, uh, a project, whatever. But somebody's going at it alone. They're studying. They're learning a lot. Okay, I was hearing expanding their wisdom. Eight of Pentacles, the Lord of, um, the Lord of Prudence. So somebody's planning for the future. Okay. Or this is encouragement for you to plan for the future, to move towards the future. I don't know what I was hearing. Look what I've done. So somebody could be reflecting. Somebody could very well be successful and maybe went through some challenges here. Um, but somebody is reflecting and seeing how far they have come. I see here. Um, what is this Five of Pentacles connected to? Somebody's feeling isolated, isolated left out. What is this Five of Pentacles giving? This Page of Wands. I was here and I don't want to hear it. This could be somebody um, sharing some news or some information. This person could also be really immature. And this Nine of Pentacles energy is like, I don't want to hear it. I'm kind of, I'm just over it. Um, what is this Five of Pentacles? Five of Pentacles is the Nine of Cups. And then what is this Five of Cups? The Five of Cups is the Seven of Swords. Wow, that's crazy. So um, somebody is having trouble when it comes to like following their passion, what they're wanting to do here. All right. Uh, if that's not the case, there is just trouble in paradise. I'm hearing it could be a water sign person, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Um, strong mutable sign here. So it could be a Pisces somebody is um, having issues with here. I was hearing that they left me out in the cold. So somebody went after like their own desires. They're chasing their own goals. They're just doing what they want, which could in return leave somebody feeling left out in some way. If this is not a water sign person. This can be somebody with water energy or somebody who changes a lot. Okay. It's, it also, this is the energy of hot and cold with the five of cups and the seven of swords. Somebody was fucking lying. Okay. Somebody was hold, withholding some information or somebody is holding this inside. Okay. They could very well feel like the five of cups, but they're holding it inside. They don't want anybody to know that they're struggling. Okay. But for others, it's, it's the energy of somebody lying, not being honest here. Okay. I was hearing the truth comes out. I was hearing I'm moving on from you. So somebody could be moving on from somebody. I was hearing the on, on unauthenticity. So there is somebody who's not being authentic here. And, you know, it's d disappointing. But you are deciding to move on. Somebody, somebody is deciding to move on. Okay. But there is definitely an energy of just being inspired again. Um, going after what you want. Also, the Nine of Pentacles can talk about material gains. So somebody is gaining something materially. It could be in the form of finances. It could be support. It can really be anything here. Or this could be a desire. I, I was hearing I have to get it on my own. So for some, you're needing to get this on your own. Okay. Or go after what it is that you're wanting. Give me two more cards. Give me two more cards. I was hearing pretending to be happy. I don't know what's going on with that. Okay. 
I was hearing you're just a disappointment. Four of Wands, the Lord of Abundance. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune, okay? Uh, I mentioned the Wheel of Fortune earlier, but I Spirit was showing me somebody spinning the wheel, okay? So somebody could be winning the lottery, okay? Somebody very well could be winning the lottery. I was hearing try your luck. So somebody could be um, receiving some type of luck, okay? This luck could um, add to the household, all right, or it could add to your foundation. I also see this uh, Four of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune as there being change, a change in the household, a change in the structure. I don't know why I was hearing molecular structure, something changing, changing, like molecular structure changing. Okay, I don't know what that's about, but there is a change here. I was hearing also relocating, change, change of address. All right, um, I was hearing and scene so somebody changing the scene okay this is giving me main character energy but there are, are some extras in the mix here but there's some change when it comes to the extras okay this could be in the workplace this can be in your actual life okay your household whatever but there's a, a change here right. i was hearing expansion somebody could be um maybe growing their family or maybe they're getting a bigger house okay there could be getting a bigger house, um, upsizing. Um, I also was hearing like downsizing as well. All right, trigger. I was gonna pull these earlier, but I don't know why I didn't. Okay. All right, triggers. What's triggering the collective? What's triggering the collective in the next three days? What's triggering the collective and for the next few days? Okay. April 14th to 16th. All right. I can be quick tempered and say hurtful things without understanding why. Wow. So somebody could be um, irking you possibly or could be the other way around. Okay. Um, but somebody's uh, quick tempered and they'll say um, some mean things. Okay, they're triggered by something. I was hearing like triggered by their childhood. Okay, when I fall to, when I fail to set boundaries with others, I become angry with myself for days. So somebody um, could be getting very upset because they fail to set healthy boundaries. They can be beating themselves up. Okay. When I am not happy with myself, I become inconsiderate to others. Okay. I display codependent behaviors when I have feelings of low self-worth. When change needs to happen, I begin to procrastinate. Oh, wow. For some of you, maybe you're needing to move or relocate and maybe you're procrastinating. Um, when I can't keep up in a conversation, I begin to act arrogantly and rude. Wow. When I'm angry, my immediate response is to get even. Wow. Okay, those are the triggers, what is going on, okay? And triggers are meant to help you grow. If you're still being triggered, there is definitely still some work to do, all right? Nobody's perfect. There's always room for improvement. All right, let's get some Rebel Oracle decks. Rebel Oracle decks, give us a kick in the ass. Give us, give us a kick in the ass with love. All right, stop texting, stop stalking, stop checking on the person. Just fucking stop. That is wow. Okay, I was getting a vision of the Five of Cups and the Seven of Swords. So somebody went looking for something and found it. Okay, this could have been somebody stalking or, you know, looking somebody up. Okay, so some, some type of truth was revealed or maybe a lie was exposed and it stressed somebody out. So you're encouraged to stop doing that. Okay, I was hearing stop doing that to yourself. I don't know. I was getting a vision of Angela from 90 Day Fiance, 90 Day Fiance, and uh, it's a uh, Angela and her uh, husband Michael. <laughs> okay, if you're a 90 Day Fiance fan, okay, put it in the comment below. I love that show. All right, don't believe every shitty thought you have. Wow. So do not believe every shitty thought you have. I was hearing negative self talk. I uh, spirit was also showing me the card I pulled earlier, the highs and low. Highs and lows, winning. So somebody is definitely winning. Yeah, makes a lot of sense with that um, Page of Wands, Nine of Pentacles card. Okay, 
somebody could be reflecting on their winnings like wow look how far it came all right shame regret and guilt those are just bullshit let that shit go i didn't read the back of it you got a good thing going don't win don't win that shit what you got a good thing going don't win that shit i don't know what that means why it says oh ruin oh my god i can't read cursive yeah don't ruin that shit you got a good thing um going thoughts can be sneaky lying bastards on the back of this card it says spend your time on someone worth it don't waste it ridiculousness okay some of you could be stalking or, or somebody's stalking or looking somebody up okay and it's not even worth it this person's not even worth it okay uh forgive let that shit go okay we got um it's not everyone else's fault it's yours okay so this is talking about holding yourself accountable okay being accountable i was hearing that somebody is blaming everything on mercury retrograde okay instead of taking responsibility you are a grown-ass adult stop blaming others for your shit okay so for some you could have put yourself in a situation and maybe you're blaming somebody else because of how they're treating you or whatever whatever but you need to take a look at yourself okay all right a last card you think someone is lying wow they are wow spirit is coming through you know i pulled the five of cups and the seven of swords somebody was not being authentic somebody was not being true okay somebody knows someone is lying or not being honest shit is going down with your job and i mentioned a job setting earlier it says reevaluate change your perspective or fucking quit so someone is needing to quit their job or they need to change their perspective or set some healthy boundaries here okay so shit is going down at the workplace which is crazy all right let's get to the goddess oracle let's get some uh strength wisdom love from the goddess oracle for the next few days loving messages from the goddess oracle for the collective, for the collective. I don't know I was getting a vision of a pota uh, potato. Potato. A potato. That's crazy. Somebody, I was hearing a spud. What is going on? Okay, spirit. Leave me alone. Now it's getting crazy. <laughs> okay. Messages from the goddess. All right, Hathor, receptivity. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. I love that. So you need to be more receptive. Position yourself to receive these blessings. I feel like a lot of you are going to be doing that anyways. All right, we got fairness, Mayat. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. So for some of you, you could have been going through that five of one, uh, five of um, cups energy, five of pentacles energy. Okay. And all of this had to happen for a reason. I was also getting a vision of the uh, will of fortune, which is change. Okay. So some change taking place and the change could very well be uncomfortable, unbearable, but it was meant to happen the way it did. Okay. The situation will be handled in a fair and just manner. Okay. For all of those involved. All right, we got uh, Maeve, cycles and rhythms. Honor the cycles of your body, energy levels and emotions. So makes a lot of sense with that highs and lows uh, card that I pulled earlier. So you're needing to honor the cycles. You're needing to move through the motions here. Don't resist it. Just move with the motions, okay? Move with the change here. One more card for the collective. All right, sage or siege, quiet time. Take some time alone to rest, meditate, and contemplate. I pulled the card earlier, the rest card. So some of you are definitely needing to spend some time alone, relax, decompress, because there's a lot going on. There's a lot of confusion, a lot of um, maybe just your energy is being pulled on. So you're encouraged to take some time out for yourself. Also, is hearing you need to quiet your mind as well. And maybe getting out in nature can help you do that. All right, or finding some um, coping skills to help you achieve that quiet mind. Um, you may even be desiring uh, like uh, your space, desiring, desiring for your space to be more peaceful and calm here. OK, uh, some of you are needing to disconnect. OK, spend time alone. Rest. OK, so this is the end of the reading collective. God bless.